Louisiana Living on Fox 14 continues. And welcome back. I'm here with Roxanne Smith with Pauls and Leah Stewart, who is with the Washita Parish Animal Shelter Advisory Board, here with two cute little babies that are looking for a forever home. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us and bringing some kittens with you. Who are these, who are these two babies we have here today, Roxanne? Well, this is Jingle and Belle, and they are six-week-old brothers that are being fostered by uh, some of the wonderful people uh, who help out with Washtenaw Parish Animal Shelter and the cats and the overflow that we have Definitely. at the animal shelter. Tell us about that, Leah. Um, you know, since the shelter, um, they cannot turn anyone away. Um, we have lots of dogs, cats, uh, pigs, goats, <laughs> cows come in. Um, and the shelter does the best they can. They call me when they have underage kittens, uh, maybe pregnant cats or cats with very small kittens and the elderly. And we try and find fosters for them and get them out because it's just not a, a good environment mm -hmm. for them. And sometimes they just need a little socialization and love and then they'll be put up for adoption. And how much is the uh, adoption fee for a kitten? Well, right now, we've had some really great people step up and make donations towards their adoption fee. It's normally $70, but right now, until the money runs out, $50. Okay, great. You get a spay neuter voucher if they're not already. You get a voucher for their rabies vaccination and then their first set of shots and a microchip. So it's the best deal in town. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paul's can also help spay and neuter as well. That's right. Uh, the spay and neuter vouchers, um, you can go to pawsneela.org. And if you already have an animal, please, it's a no cost, low cost or, uh, application and uh, that's our goal to make sure that there are fewer animals coming into the Washtenaw Parish Animal Shelter and our local rescues. Absolutely. Leah, what are some other announcements you would like to make uh, about the Washtenaw Parish Animal Shelter? We are always looking for fosters. Mm -hmm. Dogs, cats, puppies, yeah. kittens. Um, that's one of the the best ways to be able to to save the lives uh, because of the overcrowding mm -hmm. and if someone is interesting and in, interested in fostering they can go to the shelter they can contact me um, these two I was contacted last week put it out on Facebook looking for a foster somebody stepped up and they're in a home and then once they're old enough we will have them neutered and with boys, uh, their vaccinations microchipped, and they can either be adopted straight out of the foster home, we can get the paperwork, mm -hmm. um, or they also house cats uh, and kittens at PetSmart in Monroe. How, so do, that's how, another how does outlet. fostering give them a, a better chance of finding a forever home? Don't fall. Um, <laughs> Don't you fall? Just with, with overcrowding at the shelter, you have a lot uh, higher chance of spreading. Uh, what, something that's common with cats is upper respiratory. Uh -huh. And if you can get them out, they have a, they're healthier, mm -hmm. uh, a, more social, because usually uh, most of the people in the homes, they play with them, they are exposed to other cats or mm -hmm. dogs. Yeah. Um, they're a little depressed at the shelter. Yeah. They it's can not a be good because it, you know, they have to keep them kenneled. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all the time that we have. But these two babies are up for adoption or foster, along with many other kittens and cats and puppies and dogs at the Washita Parish Animal Shelter, and they will be open tomorrow from 10 to 4. 10 to 4, That's right. and then every weekday. Thank you so much, Roxanne and Leah, for yeah. joining us. Coming up next, Edna Matthews will join us with our tip to be encouraged. Stay with us.